Are you struggling to maintain your own Selenium grid? If so, I have an awesome resource for you. It's called Zelenium. I just interviewed the creator, Diego Molina, all about it on my podcast, Test Talks. Here's a quick outtake from What is Zelenium? And make sure to listen to the full interview at testtalks.com forward slash 208. Check it out. So Selenium is trying to uh, solve a very common issue that a lot of people have and it's when you have some tests and you want to start running them in parallel so you want to start getting into selenium grid so the 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 most common issue is that you need to start to keep up with the releases of the new selenium uh, versions and to have them in synchronization with the with the browser releases and the and the browser drivers releases so chrome driver gecko driver and so on so people are usually spending a lot of time into configuring all these moving parts so what we did uh, in my previous job in in salando which is the biggest uh, e-commerce website in germany Uh, I, I met um, a friend of mine called Leo Galucci and he started the Docker Selenium project years ago. So we sat down and we figured out a way to put all this in a package where people could just start a Docker container and then uh, you could start basically shooting tests at it and on the background it would start creating more containers to run your tests uh, and take a video of it, put a nice uh, dashboard for you to see the videos. And um, in the end, we are trying to solve the issue of people spending hours and hours maintaining their own grid solutions with this open source project that is uh, mainly done by, by people who got involved into the community for the community.